Hey Dreamers, it's Kaylee here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail on uh, Photoshop. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to say YouTube. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to make a thumbnail on Photoshop. Um, it is kind of complicated. Um, when I first tried to do it, it was kind of complicated. I was just like, what the heck is going on? Photoshop is very, um, it's very particular. It's a very particular app. And, um, it's just, it's kind of hard. Sometimes, especially if you look up tutorials and stuff like that, and people don't lay it out very well, and they don't, like, show you what they're pressing and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard, so you have to figure it out yourself. Which is kind of what I did, and I somewhat figured it out. I don't know a lot of stuff, but I'm getting there. I'm starting to learn how to and stuff like that. And, yeah, so... Let's go ahead and get started with the video, guys. Alright, so what you're going to go ahead and do is that when you're opening up Photoshop, it'll come up with New, actually right here. You're going to go ahead and press New. Then you're going to click Custom. And then you're going to do 1280 by um, 720. So, because that's the size of a YouTube thumbnail. And then we're going to go ahead and go to Create. And it should load. Alright, so here we have our just nice white uh, background here. So what I suggest you do is just go ahead and look up a picture on uh, Google. Just any kind of background you like. It doesn't need to be like Animal Jam or anything. But for me, I'm going to do Animal Jam because I, uh, I usually do that actually for the background of my thumbnails. I usually do... Um, a Animal Jam background and then I do blur usually and then I put the text in. That's what I usually do for all mine and I just think it looks nice and simple. Not too crazy or anything like that. And yeah, so go ahead and get your band background real quick. I will go ahead and grab mine. Alright guys, so in this case I'm going to be using this little cute raccoon and buddy one with a little turtle and ducks and stuff like that. Um, I just think it's cute. Also, you don't need to have this background or anything. You can do whatever background you want. I'm just doing this one because I think it looks good. So, what you're going to do is just go ahead and click copy image. And then you're going to go back into Photoshop. And then you're going to press Control V. And it will come up with it. So, I know that a lot, I got confused with this too when I first started doing this. So, we're going to go ahead and just scroll down because we want the animals to show a little bit. So, if you want to arrange your image, then go ahead and press Free Transform. Now, um, so basically, you don't want it to be weird like this, you know. You don't want it to be weird. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press Free Transform again. And then we're going to go ahead and press shift. So this makes it so that if you wanted this smaller, then it doesn't turn out being all weird and stuff like that. So see like this, we don't want that. So press shift and that'll make it so it's not weird. Alright, so that's what you do if you want to resize the image and stuff like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to blur. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of filters here. Gosh and blur, and then this makes it so it's kind of blurry. So we're gonna go ahead and just do let's see that. All right, so we've got this now. Um, if you want to add anything else to it, you totally can. So just for now, we're gonna start with the text now. So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and click down. And then I prefer Snake and Boot. I think it looks nice. It's nice and big. It's not too like crazy or anything like that. So I like using that. And then go ahead and select your color. You also can select your color after too if you want to do that. Totally can do that too. So we're going to go ahead and do thumbnail tutorial. Actually, no. We're just going to do thumbnail for now because... Then you can kind of, because I like to kind of uh, make it turn a little bit and then the other one turn a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. So you can uh, change the color if you want to. I kind of just like the white. Well, I guess I could do a different color. Maybe like, hmm, I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like that. 
yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. So, you want your color to stand out a little bit. So, what we're going to do, um, I think it's easier because you can also, you can do this. This is how you make the this bigger. But, in my opinion, I think going to free transform again is a lot easier. So, like I said, just press shift on your computer. Not sure if it's different for Mac. I don't think it is. Because um, I have a Windows, so I don't really know. Uh, so, go ahead and resize it. I think we should do... Oops. Whoops. Alright. Sorry, now i got to do it over again. Okay. So, free transform. I'm going to go ahead and turn it a bit this way. Or, that's a little too much. Alright, so... Go ahead and resize it as much as you want. I'm gonna do it like that. Alright, um, I think I actually might change the color again because this isn't really standing out. You want something that's gonna stand out enough so then it doesn't look weird. Alright, well actually no, we can keep that color because then we can just add a stroke. I will show you guys with stroke in a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go to blending options. Blending options is a big part of things in Photoshop that I use a lot. Now we're going to go ahead and go to stroke. Stroke basically makes it so you can outline the text. Actually, anything. Also, sorry if my voice sounds bad. Um, because I still am sort of sick. So, you know, it. I, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you can do that. Make it as big as you want to. You can make it this big. You can make that small. You can make it this. Like, do whatever you want. Mess around with it a bit. You know, because that makes it so you figure out things more. Alright, and then there's also inner glow. I don't really know what this does a lot. Okay, yeah, it does like this and stuff like that. It does different things. Like, you can have your text rainbow if you wanted to, but we're not... Ooh, I actually liked... I actually like that. That's pretty. I'm gonna do that. Alright. Gradient overlay. This makes it so it can kind of add a bit of shine to your image. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can do mess around with opacity. Um, I, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just do it like this. And you can also add another one if you want to. It's totally up to you. Mess around with it a little bit. Alright, so I think I kind of just like this. I think it looks nice and simple. You also can add a pattern overlay if you want to. I don't, I'm not going to in this case. Um, there's a lot of different pattern overlays. There's this, there's this, there's this, there's this. There's a lot of different ones. So go ahead and check those out. I like doing an outer glow because I think it makes it stand out a little bit more. So we're, in this case, I'm just going to do white because I think that looks best for right now. Um, yeah, so also, if you don't want to like do this, you can go to styles and then you can choose any of these. These are just a whole bunch of different styles. Um, I'm just going to do this for now because I think it looks nice and simple. And yeah, so go ahead and do that. And then now we're going to go ahead and make the same thing. So go ahead and go to thumbnail, um, duplicate layer. You can name it whatever you want. I don't really care. I usually just do thumbnail, copy, whatever. And then you're going to go ahead and take this again. We're going to go ahead and go to the little T right here. Go ahead and take that out and go ahead and put tutorial. All right, there you go. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and also you can change the color again if you want to. I usually do the same color, um, but it's not a bad idea though. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to free transform again, and then we're gonna go ahead and go like, oops this. I like that. I think that looks cute. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and add some overlays, guys, because those work very nicely, I think. So let's go ahead and go grab a few overlays. Control V. There you go. Now it works. Alright, so if you get a black background like this and then you want to change it to transparent, go ahead and go to the blend mode and change it to screen because that makes it different. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little stroke right here because I think, oh, wrong thing. Oops. All right. Oh, yeah, because this has black background. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not thinking. Um, okay, so that's what you can do. 
Um, also, oh, that looks kind of cool. I actually like that. That's cool. I like that very much. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, yeah, also, you can mess around with the background to make it different colors. I like this. I think this is cool. Also, if you want to arrange your layers and make so, like, this star is right over this. And I don't like that because it's kind of blocking it out. So, go ahead and go to layer. Go to range. Send backwards. Send to back. So we're going to go ahead and send that backward. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So if you also, if you want to go back, if you're just like, oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. So what you're going to go ahead and do is go to layer style again because that undoes it. So this is a history thing right here. So this like shows all your history. Alright. So, um... We're going to go ahead and place this. Also, if you don't want, if you want it to be a little easier, go ahead and drag it down. So that's easiest. Go. Oh, little booger. All right, there you go. All right, guys, little quick tip here. So if you want to get something transparent to Photoshop, instead of copying the image, you can't do that because then it's going to make it black. And I know I showed you guys that little thing where you can do screen, but it doesn't always work for some things. Um, for that it worked because if it's white, I think that's the reason why it worked. So what you're going to go ahead and do is just going to go ahead and click save image as or just save it or whatever. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is go to your files, get that image, um, open it up from your files, and then you're going to drag it into Photoshop is what you're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and then I'll drag it into Photoshop. Alright, so now it's here. So you can go ahead, mess with it a bit. Um, I just kind of showed you guys this so you guys could kind of see, but it does kind of look cool in this. Guys, so I just got this little black corners thing is what I got. And I usually add this to my thumbnails sometimes because I think it just gives it a little bit of oomph to it, you know? Um, so what we're going to do is going to go to Blending Options. Then we're going to go ahead and make the opacity a bit less because you don't want it too dark. Then we're going to go ahead and go to Inner Glow. See, doesn't this look cool? It looks very cool. Except it looks a bit too much, so I'm going to... Huh... That still looks kind of much. I don't know. Don't you think it looks much? I think it looks kind of much. Okay, I'll... That, that, that. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. That looks good. I like that. Okay, let me see. I like that. Okay. Also, if you want to change the color, then go ahead. Do you want to change the color to any image you get? Go ahead and go to Color Overlay. You can change the color or you want to. Go ahead. See? It just looks different right now because I added the uh, inner glow. That's why. Actually, I like that. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And if you want the stars to show still, then we're going to go ahead and go like that. Alright. Okay. I think this looks really good, guys. Um, I know it's a bit more simple. I like my thumbnails more simple. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial video. Um, if you liked the video and it helped you, please give it a like. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down in the description down below. And yeah, also I am doing um, banner commissions now, and I also am doing intro commissions. Um, if you want a banner, go ahead and go to the link down in the description down below. I literally just made that video, actually. Alright, so go ahead and check out my banner thing, because I do make banners. And, yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. And, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, guys, and God bless your day.